mean, most Korean guys would have gotten really prideful by now, and somebody would have gotten hurt. You know, it's like the Korean virus, kimchi blood. But hey, you played it really cool. I like. I like. But hey, we didn't change names. I'm Jessica. Oh, hello, Jessica. <coughs> I'm Chad. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, uh, how are you liking your first day at school? <laughs> Well, hey, you're alone, I'm alone, we should be, uh, alone together. Hey! Uh, sure, thanks! I appreciate it. Alright. Uh, you guys are falling behind. Look at these two getting numbers already. <laughs> Who's hungry? That was all, and I didn't understand that. In English, please. If you really were Korean like you are, you would know how to respect your elder. I thought I taught you better, but I mean, I did give birth to you. I love you regardless, my pavo. Just try to meet some Kyungsa Nuna. They can cook kimchi bokeumbap for you. All right, kimchi bokeumbap. Uh huh, for sure. <laughs> Okay, well, I gotta get going now. I'm gonna oh, hang oh, out. Okay, okay, bye. 사랑해. Oh, uh -huh. call your uncle soon, okay? He wants to hear from you. I totally won't. Oh, okay. Bye. 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 God, you talk forever. Oh, hey, and it's you. Right. Forget this. Okay, if you're gonna be there. 
Yeah. And you know what? You don't even have to write this. The majority of the members aren't even Korean anyway, so you fit right in. Okay. Well, if I'm going to stop by to the group meeting, mm. KAC, why don't you uh, put some ditches on the here? <laughs> Like, I got this thing called, uh, confidence. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a selfie of myself. <laughs> she definitely photobombed me. Ooh, you know what, that's okay. I've got these, uh, elite Photoshop skills. So don't worry about it. So, you're coming to Korean Club, right? Tonight? Actually, it's in this room. 8.30. See there. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll stop by. I will be there. Ah, that's so. Yeah, that's okay. What is this? Pinky promise? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. No, yeah, it's okay. John, I'll see. This, this is the stuff you would learn if you came. Okay, alright, alright, fine. John, yeah. I just gave you a craning. Chad. Okay. Tojan stamp. Tojan stamp. Got it. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, just kidding! I have 
kidding. I am so just kidding. But anyways, I'm really glad to be here with you guys all. So thank you. Take a seat in your one. Yes, come here. Take your seat. Yaksuk jikyeonne. Yaksuk nimonne. You did so much work. Oh, you know. Hey, uh, Eunice. So um, oh, you're hi. in my class just now, right? Hi, Alex. Right. Um, you know, if you need stuff for that class, you can always let me know. I got a thank you message. Oh my god, that would be so much help. I'll stay with you. Okay. So before further ado, without further ado, Casey Sansky. Let me put it down another way. 
Yes, is Chad not a thumbs up? Oh my god, are you being serious right now? Well, I can feel there's history between you two. How long have you been on it for? Did they talk to you on Facebook? Because you are your Insta post. Oh my god, is he poking you? Oh my god. I met him at summer orientation, and ever since then, we've just been keeping in contact. So, when you say keeping in contact, you mean you've been talking, right? Yes, we've been talking. Are you serious? I knew it. You two make a really cute couple. What? No, 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 no. We're just friends. Just really good friends. <laughs> Seriously, can you be modded? You know, I'm just teasing you. But, on a serious note, these two eyes. They know a good couple when they see one. And they see it, and you went for Chad. Oh. <laughs> Did someone call for the Chad? Uh, I gotta go. Where are you going? I'm gonna go to the gym, you know, pump some iron, make some green stuff. And you're amazing. What was that all about? Nothing. Hey, so how is KAC, the cat club? Uh, you mean KAC, Korean American Coalition? It was, uh, pretty good. The girls did this kind of welcome back dance thing. <laughs> I'm not so sure what that was all about, but, uh... Oh man, but Eunice was there. Let me tell you about that. Again? She was just so cute, and amazing, and awesome, and special. When she walked in through that door... Wait, 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 just... let me guess. When she walked in through that door, she lit up the whole room, right? No, don't be a cliche. She walked in with... <laughs> confidence. <sighs> Man, I don't really know what to do about her though. I'm really interested in her, but it seems like Alex is also trying to go for her at the same time. It just makes me really <sighs> nervous, you know? What should I do? I need your help. I don't know. I'm not Eunice. I'm half Korean and half Japanese, but I'm also all American. Eunice just recently transferred here. She's an international exchange student. She's far more in tune with her Korean side than I am. Yeah, sometimes you go on these rants and I'm just not <laughs> But you're gonna help me, right? Buddy? Fine, I'll do what I can. All just right. promise me this, that you won't change who you are for someone else. If they don't accept you for who you are, then they're not worth your time. You are a kind, amazing, and a beautiful human being. <laughs> believe in yourself the way I believe in you. You really are something kind of fantastic. I'm sorry, I spaced out again. <laughs> but you said you were gonna help me, right? Buddy, Fine. You I'll do All what right. I can. Great. Right. Let's go to lunch. I'm starving. Uh, no, it's okay. I'm not that hungry because I'd like a ton of homework to do. Okay, whatever. Bye. <laughs> Korean now, dude. <laughs> if Eunice knew, dude, she'd be so impressed. Should I call her? Should I not call her? Is it too soon? Is it too late? <laughs> dude, what are you doing? Why don't you just call her? It's been three months ever since you started whining about her. Just do it! Okay, look, it's a very complex situation, right? We have one class together, but she gets there early, but I get there late. When I get there, there are no seats next to her, but I try, but there's people, they're very intimidating, large crowds. Then KAC meeting, right? I try to get in there, she gets in there late, I get in there early, then Alex is there, okay, and it's a whole okay, yeah. debacle. But Chad, <sighs> really can't picture you two together, man. But Jessica, now that's a girlfriend material. <laughs> Okay, okay. We've been over this. Jessica and I, we're just, we're just friends. Dude, that's how it all starts out, I'm telling you. Okay, let me do some basic math for you, child. Okay, there is Jessica and... <laughs> Jessica and Chad, right? No go. 
Chad plus Eunice makes fat chicka. <laughs> To prove it to you, I'm gonna call her right now. Yeah. 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 Someone just said you oh. oh. <laughs> I didn't change this anymore. It's a new phone. It's a new phone. Is it actually happening? Yeah. yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think it's ringing. Oh. It's the Chad. How you doing? So, I was thinking this Friday, your face, my face, some food in between, we should eat it together at the same time for breakfast or maybe lunch or even dinner if that's your thing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, great. All right, Friday it is. Bingo! Alright, Mom's truck. I'll give you that. What up? I'll give you that. What? I got that one. Who is it? It's me! Alright. Come on in, Jess! Jessica! What the hell is that? He called Eunice for a date this Friday, and she said yes. But and today is only Monday, which means I have to deal with that stupid tuning all week. <laughs> uh, oh, so you called. Hell yeah, I did. Uh, you know that she and Alice were like talking, right? Uh oh. 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 Clear and honest communication is key to all relationships. Oh. You know, you just you can't just say that you like someone and act on your own whims. A one-sided love is a selfish love. Trust me, I'm a psych major. <laughs> <laughs> Concise it down. But anyway, okay, so date set. I need to figure out where I'm taking her. I need to figure out what we're eating. And I need to figure out how we're getting there. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Can I borrow your car? <laughs> oh, of course you can. I just need it back by 10. All right, 10 a.m. Next oh, morning. Gotcha. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 a.m. You're going to work on that accent, dude. Just, just get back to me, all right? <laughs> Hey, uh, Jessica, you wanna go to your party with me this weekend? First date, flowers is a good idea. Is flowers too eager, right? Does that make me seem like a cocky guy? Do cocky girls like cocky guys? I think that cocky girls like cocky guys who like cock? Wait. What? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna begin to settle my own time. I got some thinking to do. <laughs> so what about the flowers? <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. 
before, but it comes with a marker. It comes with a marker. Oh! You can write on the mug and thank it, and it will stay on. <laughs> Oh hey, I think I see Eunice over there. I'll I'll catch you later. What? Bye. Hey, hey. Eunice. Uh, Tanner, are you okay? Yeah. You look tired. Run up here or something? No, no. You know I'm just uh, getting my cardio on. You know, shredding those uh, carbs. Calories, kilo calories, that's the thing. So hey Eunice, how you doing? Crazy busy, look at this. Three of these study guides. That is so much study guide. Three You're of those. You're gonna be so guiding after all that study. That doesn't really make sense, but that's okay. Yeah, but you know, uh, hey, are you, are you excited for a little break from studying? Our Friday adventure. KAC meeting? Friday? I didn't think we had KAC meeting. No, you know, our, our little our little hangout sesh. Just uh, you and I. Oh, you and Friday, me. our hangout. Me and you. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited, but to be honest, I completely forgot about Friday. That's okay. Don't worry about it. And here is your uh, little reminder, you know? So, um, when you want to go out, do you want to like go out like out of town and get all dressed up and whatever? Yes, let's get out of here. Why do we need to stay in Merced? Ew. So you want to get all like all dressed up, right? Yeah. Look at this. Look at the bum every day this week. No, no, you. You're looking so good. Oh, Chad, thank you. You're so nice. <laughs> Too nice these days. Yeah, you know, sometimes I feel like I gotta I step up my wardrobe game when I hang out with you. You know. No, you're okay, Chad. Okay, just, just okay? Yeah, you're okay, you're okay. Okay, well, then, something. You're okay, you're, you're good. <sighs> hey, yes. Oh, 안녕, Alex. 잘 지냈어요? What do you do? Uh, homework. <laughs> oh, really? You really think about me when you're all alone. Okay. The things Let's go. we used to do and used to be. <laughs> I could be the 
one to make you feel that way I could be the one to set you free Do you think about me when the crowd is gone? It used to be so easy you and me
just that. I'm sorry, please. No! <laughs> It's made out of, it's made out of kisses, see? Kisses, get it? Do you get it? No! No! no. Thank you for the effort. It's very nice. Job. Yeah, I, I try, you know, so... Totally not have some. 
And yeah, no, take my flatware too, but you gave me a candle. Thanks. Oh, I've always never so wanted a candle. Hungry. Eat this, please. Mm. Did, he, did he think this was a date? It was a hangout. This is, excuse me, this is not a date? <laughs> no! Not that, but we, you know. And hang then, out, so I invited Opa, we can all like hang out. You know what? I suddenly remember I have this other hangout I have to go to with my mom because she, you know, so I'm gonna, I could, so I'm gonna, okay. Bye, Chad. I see the fear in your eyes, I feel the pain in your heart How can something so well put together be so torn apart? You are the beauty I want, you are the angel I need I find the proof of God in every single word that you speak You smell like girly shampoo, I love when I smell like you Reminds me why I wake up if I tremble at the sight of you It's not because I'm cold It's because I'm staring at the girl I want to Love me when I'm old I swear with all my heart Every word I write for you is true And I won't hesitate my all for you You are the stars in the sky You are the sound of the rain You are the strong sense of calm That takes away all the pain You are the rush of the wind I'm just a man on his knees Praying to God to grow old With the girl of his dreams You've got my heart in your hand you got my hand if you want so please love me forever And if I tremble at the sight of you It's not because I'm cold It's because I'm staring at the girl I want to Love me when I'm old I swear with all my heart Every word I write for and I won't hesitate to give my life for you And if I die before I wake In the night just look above With every star that greets your face I am giving you my love And if I die before I I hear your voice in the dark It fills the empty spaces Taking over my broken heart You give me strength to go on You rescue me from the pain I'm crazy for you Cause your love kept me from going insane You stole my heart with one kiss Embraced my soul with your lips And I'm forever grateful And if I tremble at the sight of you it's not because i'm cold it's because i'm staring at the girl i want to love me when i'm old i swear we Jessica? Well, I'm sorry, but 
about last time? I just, I don't no, know what happened. No, I'm sorry. I, I said something thoughtless and cruel, and I was just mad, and I realized you're too important to me to, to throw away over something like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. Um, so how was your day? It was pretty awful, actually. Um, I felt like the entire time I was just lying to myself and lying to Eunice, and Alex showed up. He did it. He did. He did. But you know what? I'm okay with that, because I kind of realized I don't need to imitate Korean stereotypes to impress my family or to impress my culture. I just need to be me. You know? I'm Korean and American. I'm a blood of the two. Just like how you're Korean, Japanese, American, and special to me. I think I know what you're about to say. Um, uh, can I? Yes, I love you. Thank you, 
Don't worry about it, Yoach. Well, my girl wants she gets. <laughs> Alright guys, how was it great? Was it good? Woo! Woo! My name was great too. <laughs> so, this is the we have like so much things planned. Hey, AC has bigs and littles. Woo! Uh, we're gonna have fundraising, and best of all, we're gonna do KCM fanning. So that's LGI. Let's get it. Let's go. My parents, through years of blood, sweat, and sacrifice, made a life for themselves and ultimately for my brother and me. I've led an easy life, make no mistake about it. We're destined to turn out better than our parents. It's inevitable. As we grow, we learn from our parents. We take on facets of their personalities, integrating them into our own existence. have to fart correctly and turn out better than their parents. I know you all know someone like that. <laughs> I left a little message in your programs about the celebration of mediocrity. Our generation is plagued by multitudes willing to do just enough to get by, simply going through the motions. And I'm just as guilty of this as everyone else. We owe it to our parents, ourselves, and our future offspring to strive for the best and try to be the most absolute expression of ourselves that we can be. We've inherited that fire from our parents. Woo! If you leave here with nothing else today, I want you all to remember the immortal words of Dr. Seuss. Kid, you'll move mountains. We also have two very special guests in the audience with us here today. Omoni, Abaji, Chankaman, Afro, Wajashi.
guys hear me? Yeah? For those of you guys who don't know, my name is Jenny Sook. I was only one from like the Bay Area, like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm actually uh, born in oh, I was born in Korea, but oh yeah, I'm a Korean American. Just for your information, just like like pretty much everyone else in this room. Um, but yeah, I live in uh, I lived in Cupertino, California, for a long time. I'm really excited to be here today. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, I'm listening to a few tunes. Do not fall asleep, okay? Whatever you do. Are you guys ready? If you guys know these songs, please sing along. Please don't be shy, sing along, okay?
right, all right. This next song is a, it's actually an original song. I don't know if you guys have seen my YouTube, but uh, it's on there. And I do it right now.
So me. <laughs> Get it. Uh, I guess we'll look at what we are. No more mistakes on my end. Don't worry, girl. Thanks. <laughs>
I did Funny Fat Fit was because, you know, a lot of us need motivation to, to do certain things. For me, like, being fat was never like, it never hurt my feelings. Like, I embraced my fatness. Like, I, like, I didn't know I was fat until I got on the scale, and the first time I stepped on it said, error. I was like, what is this? Your knees start to hurt. It's funny, like, you can tell you're getting fat too. Like, every time I walked in the neighborhood, there was like a specific song that would follow me. Da -da 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 -da. Fucking ice cream man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Bitch, it's winter, go home. Why are you still out here? It's cold. Nobody wants ice cream. Give me a chocolate taco, come here. <laughs> that was my shit. Um, obviously, if you guys don't know already, I'm a Korean-American. Uh, I was born in Korea, so I am a fob, as they say. <laughs> and I'm very proud of it. You know, the only problem about being a transplant, as I call it, is that your parents always like to let you know how much they suffer every day. It's like the most fun. And you know what the fucking thing is? My dad's story always changes, every time. It changes every time. And no matter what I go through, he's always been through something ten times worse. I got, I, back in the day, I used to want to be a thug. I got shot at once, and my dad looked at me and he goes, Oh, you got the shot by your bully. Oh, you're a scary bully. Daddy, come on, Cody, I had a pie of dinosaur. Like, what the fuck? Who a dinosaur? You like that old? Daddy had a fight of dragon. Dragon blue pirate, that is the oh. <laughs> Never made any sense. And that shit used to bother me so much. I'm not even talking. He would talk about the most like ridiculous shit. I was like, man, can I get a cup of water? When the daddy is a courtier, he go to mountain and wait for snow. <laughs> Personality is, it's funny because like you know when that song San Toki Tokia, my mom never sang that shit to me. <laughs> she was my mom, I love my mom to death, and the reason why we get along so well is because I'm an asshole and so is she. <laughs> like the way she would wait, San Toki the night case it gets. Oh yeah. I love that like that whole Korean drama thing you got. I love Korean drama. Like Korean dramas used to be my shit. You know what? about Korean dramas is, like, it's the way, I don't like the whole rejection scene because it takes, like, way too fucking long. It's not just, like, one girl, just, I kissed her! And then, <laughs> and you got that, I'm turn you away! Like, come on, dog! You make it a look bad, don't do that shit, dude! <laughs> she turns around, he grabs her wrist, I kissed her, turn you away! I kissed her, turn you away! 14 hours, they're just fighting the whole time, like, and then suddenly, rain comes down, I'm like, well, where's that rain coming from? We're indoors. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It's funny, like, <laughs> if you guys don't know, uh, I mentioned this in a couple of my videos. My, my, my father is a pastor, so I was, I was a pastor's son my whole life. It's funny because, like, teach us another everybody. Like, <laughs> when your father's Korean and a pastor, your freedom disappears. Like, that is, that is like, Generally, what is got my father? Anytime anything happened, it was the devil. That, that is exactly what I I gotta be. Yeah, I can't say, yeah, that's a devil. <laughs> that's a devil. Everything's the devil, really. That's that's a devil. <laughs> Don't wanna talk back to daddy. <laughs> I heard like how he called himself daddy. It was like the creepiest thing on earth. <laughs> you know who he is, am I? Appa is a daddy. Daddy. <laughs> He would sometimes say shit like, my dad's English isn't that great, so he would just mix up all those English words. Dad, daddy know what is the best of your mind of the whole of your life. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is that? And he gets mad at me because I don't understand what the fuck he's saying. Like, what, what are you saying? Oh, you play game boy? <laughs> he said, not a Nintendo, don't play game boy. <laughs> 
Ooh, my God, my life is fucked up. It's funny, like, I know, like, it, it, it's kind of interesting how I grew up, too, because my parents not only are they crazy, they're fucking crazy. Like, they, you know how, like, you know what I really like, though? Like, one of the things that I really appreciate is that I got to travel, and, and what college did for me was that it exposed me to normal people. Like, that, <laughs> like, especially, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Where I grew up, it was predominantly Vietnamese, predominantly black, and that's like the neighborhood I grew up. That's what it is. When I went to college, I saw white people for the first time, and that shit blew my fucking mind. <laughs> It's crazy because like when for me it was like National Geographic shit. Like I'm not even kidding. I would bring out my iPhone. Suit. Look at him go. <laughs> See that? He opened that person's door. That's how you're supposed to do it. There you go. <laughs> he pays his taxes. That's the next thing. <laughs> I'm like taking notes and shit. Oh my god. He puts his precise income down. <laughs> Experience. Like, it's, it's funny because like I would share my life stories. Like I had a couple of white friends in college, and they, I appreciated them so much because they showed me how normal people are supposed to react. But like, you know, like one thing that white parents are really good at is like dealing and talking with their kids. For example, like you know when like your parents fight, there's always that one white parent. Honey, go to your room. You know what? Just cover your ears. Go to your room. Go. No, honey, mommy and dad are just playing shuffleboard. Go inside. <laughs> you know what my parents fucking did? Boom. They didn't come here. <laughs> you love a mommy? You love a daddy? <laughs> you love a mommy? That's a devil? <laughs> <laughs> My dad was fucking, he was so cheap too, like Korean parents are so fucking cheap. Like, it's not, like, I grew up broke for about half my life, but even when we made money, my dad told me my whole life, there was this box in my house. Like on the wall, right? And it had this dial and it had like little numbers on it that said 65, 70, 70. That shit was the air conditioning machine. I had no idea what that was until I was 19. My, my dad told me that if I fucking clicked it on, South Korea would blow up, so I just never <laughs> It was like when I went to college, my white roommate tried to turn on the air conditioner. I was like, ah! My life. I love my mom. I do. You know why? Show us hair. Hell fucking no. I told myself that until, until I lose another 20 pounds, I'm not gonna cut my hair. You know what happened? First of all, Merced, thank you for flying me on a plane that was built in 1920. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this shit right now. When I came here, if you guys saw my Instagram, when the ticket printed out, it was on a receipt. I was like, hold on a second. I did not buy a cola on a plane ticket for that's your plane right there. It was like this little metal tampon, just like this. <laughs> And you know what the fucked up thing is? On that plane, you know how normal planes had that shade so you could close the window? It wasn't there! Like, I had to spare my fear just <laughs> uh, uh, an hour. That plane was so fucking old, the fucking propeller was right next to me, dude. How fucking dare you, dude? At a certain point, a bird caught up to me. He was like, look at this bitch. <laughs> Bitch, you scared. <laughs> Fucking big boy gave me the finger. Fuck you. Oh, oh, you must have been that Australian YouTuber. That's like, oh. My mom. Love that woman. Absolutely crazy. Here's another thing. <laughs> My mom gets so mad every time I share the story, but uh, I don't really care. So, <laughs> so my mom, when she, when she fights with my father, she does, she does this thing that I, I, I thought it was normal <laughs> up until a certain age. She likes to run away. But that's her shit. I'm not even talking. Every time she says the same shit, I'm going back to Korea! Mom, you can't drive. <laughs> I'm walking! You can walk on water. I turn to see my dream. Love supreme queen, mean to stay on the same cry. Let's go to sleep in Paris. Wake up in Tokyo. <laughs> Have a dream in New Orleans. Fall in love, fish and go. Camelback across the 
desert sand Take a train to the home Oh, hold on, Brazil For real Wherever I go, she go Oh, yeah There you guys go Uh, I didn't know too much about the event before I came here and was kind of like, but my manager's kind of an asshole, so he was like, he was like, wait, 1%. I was like, oh, that's cool, Doc. Thanks for letting me know today. But um, when, I, when, I, when I heard about what this was about, it, it, it kind of resonates very true for me. Um, even, you know, I'm an immigrant, as you guys are, because I told you. <laughs> um, but growing up, like my, like obviously you can tell, you know, I've had a little, a little hood twang to my voice because of the area that I grew up in and the things that I've done. And, uh, <laughs> you know, um, growing up as a Korean American and identifying with my Korean side was a little bit more difficult. Um, and, and it's funny too because when I decided to be a comedian, it was it was very difficult for my parents to understand. And I, and, I, and you know, people, you know, there's this kid at the show that I, I remember I talked to him and it, it was in a crowd like this and he stood up and he asked me like, "How do you feel about your parents?" how a lot of Asian American parents don't support their kids and what they want, like in their dreams. And so I asked him, I was like, interesting, I was like, so what's your dream? You know, what do you want to do? And the kid looked at me, because I want to sing. And so I put him on the spot, I was like, can you sing for us right now? If I gave you a mic, can you do it for us? He goes, no, I can't do that. I was like, so what you're telling me is that you want your parents to believe in the dream that you don't believe in yourself. And think about that for a second. A lot of us here, like to sit, you know what the difference is between what that kid did and what his parents did is that I don't think his parents would have done that, you know? I don't think his parents would have sat in front of a room full of strangers and would have bashed him. Think about that. For me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, like real talk, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me, like, no, but for me, I had to show my parents why I was doing what I was doing. They didn't understand. And for one, one of the biggest moments that I, that I have with my father, I left the house. I remember like he and I got into this huge argument, and <laughs> it's funny now because of, because of the context of how it happened. But basically, my father was fed up with what I wanted to do, and he didn't really see it going anywhere, no matter how hard I was trying. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I remember this specifically because I told my dad, I was like, you know what? My father, one of the things I told my father never to call me was stupid, and he called me stupid. And uh, when he said that to me, I snapped. And I remember too, because I told him like, if you call me stupid one more time, I will leave this house and I'll never talk to you again. And he called me stupid, so I left. But the dumbest thing that I ever did was that I decided to leave wearing uh, high chucks. And when you wear high chucks, it takes a long time to make an exit. So I was like, Dad, I told you. <laughs> I went to the other shoe, and you know what? It's over! You know, like, but you know, after that experience, I didn't talk to my dad for a year. And it was hard for me because I love my parents a lot. And, um, and you know what the thing is, like, as I started to uh, get a little older, I'm not that old, I'm not 26 years old, but like, I, um, I started to understand what my father wanted for me. And I used to always think that it was because he wanted me to be rich, you know? He wanted me to have a lot of money so we, I could like support the family and everything like that. But you know what I did find out? From and thank you guys all for supporting KTN and the Korean American Co Coalition. It couldn't have been done. Okay, so Jenny and David are going to be in front for a meeting meet if you guys want to come up and talk to them. Um, we are going to have to cut it off in about 10 to 15 minutes because we do need to get out of this room. Um, just be aware, if you are going to talk to them, uh, we have had history of people asking them for their numbers, you know, asking them to come to a party or whatever. You know, you know, know your boundaries. Uh, try to be appropriate. You can talk to them all you want about other stuff. You know, I don't care what you talk to them about as long as you don't try to take them away after the show. Yeah. <laughs> and please be courteous to the people behind you. I mean, everybody wants to take pictures with our two front headliners, so please just keep it calm or be cool. So, um, thank you guys for coming. Oh, special thanks to Jim Greenwood, Connie, Sydney, and yeah. also Office, as well as IT. Yeah.